The gathering stitch is a great stitch to know when you're wanting to sew your own clothing. I use the gather stitch on most projects I make and our sewing patterns. Let's walk through the gather stitch tips and how to master this skill so you can go on sewing beautiful clothes. At the end of this video, I'll show you a trick if you want a different method than the traditional gather. I always sew with Guterman thread because it is gentle on my machine, strong, and it comes in every color you'll ever need. Gathering fabric is pulling and putting tension on the threads, so you want to make sure the threads you are using are strong enough to hold this pressure. First, you'll cut out your pattern piece. Usually, this is way larger than the next pattern piece you'll be pinning it to. A gather stitch pulls the fabric together in a uniform way to fit the smaller piece. This results in a nice, flowy effect. Your garment will move easier and create a beautiful look. It also helps your fabric take the shape that you want. Next, change the stitch length on your machine to the longest it will go. Refer to your sewing machine manual if you need to figure out how to change your stitch length. Pull the top thread and bobbin thread a few inches before you start stitching and pull it behind the needle. Slide the fabric you want to gather under the needle. Line it up a quarter inch from the edge. Start stitching and don't backstitch. Keep stitching until your finished point and don't backstitch. Pull the thread and bobbin thread a few inches before cutting off the threads. Repeat this process right under the first stitch, half an inch from the edge. You want two rows of threads because it creates a stronger grip to gather the fabric, especially if you have a lot of fabric to work with. And then when you go to sew it to your next pattern piece, it creates a flatter surface to sew your next piece to. Separate the threads and hold onto the bobbin threads in one hand. With your other hand, gently pull the fabric in the opposite direction. Keep sliding the fabric over the threads and watch the fabric bunch up and gather together beautifully. I like to gather the fabric as close together as I can before fitting it to the next pattern piece to create a uniform look. This takes a little bit of time, so sit down and really focus on the process. If you rush, you might snap the threads, which isn't horrible, but you might have to start over and make a new stitch. Next, lay out the pattern piece you are pinning your gathered piece to in front of you. Find the middle of the piece and lay the gathered piece on top of it, right sides together. Pin the middle together and slowly pull the gathered piece out to fit the smaller pattern piece. You're going to be fanning out the gathers so this is uniform. This takes trial and error to pull the gathered pieces to fit, possibly regathering the fabric in certain areas. You can see here the give and take of that process. Pin the pieces together once you are satisfied with the result. At this point, you can trim off the threads so they don't get in the way. Move your stitch length to its original starting point. For me, that is 2.5. And sew the pieces together at half an inch or three fourths of an inch, depending on what your pattern calls for. This will cover up the gather stitches and lock the gathers into place. If you sew at half an inch seam allowance, your second gather stitch row might show through, but don't worry about it. Just take a seam ripper and remove this stitch. Once you are finished, you can trim off the gather stitches when you overlock the edges or finish them off to the process that you're using. 
If you tried the traditional gather stitch that I just mentioned and still have had some trouble, try out this next method using yarn or string and a zigzag stitch. Cut your string a little bit longer than your pattern piece and move to a zigzag stitch. Make sure the zigzag will cover the string and go back and forth without catching the string. You're going to hold the string in place and watch the zigzag go over this string. And then once you're done, you can gather it all together by sliding the fabric over the string. The only thing with this method is you have to make sure that you're holding the gathers in place. And you might want to use a pin for this because with the zigzag stitch, it's a little bit more slippery, so it's easier to ungather itself. It's a great place to start if you're having trouble with the traditional gathering method. There's so many patterns in our shop that use the gather method, but if you want to make a gathered dress like this one, you can click the next video. Mm -hmm.